What's going on guys? So I have 145,000 miles on this truck. I'm changing my uh, transmission fluid. Uh, this is uh, the non-replaceable filter. So I uh, got this from uh, Parts Geek. So I have my instructions, torque specification. Right now I have my truck level. Jack in the front, uh, jack stand on front and rear. Got this level. So, and I'm letting the transmission uh, drain. So, first thing you want to do is break the uh, the fuel bolt, just to make sure you can fill it back up. So that's my drain bolt right there. Let's get a good view. It's a good view. That's a drain bolt. It's a ten mil. Oh wait, no, it's eight. I believe it's eight. Allen. And that's the 10. And then you have torx bit for the pan. So just letting it drain a little bit. D40 torx bit. I'm using this. Don't use this. Don't have enough cojones. I'll be using this one. Or faster you guys can use the uh, the old school wrench but I gotta get this thing out fast all right <clears throat> just leave a couple bolts so that way um, this one is already ready to come out so I'm gonna use my one hand here and unbolt this too and slowly put it down all right so this truck as I said, it's 145,000 miles. Uh, bought the truck used. So, uh, I noticed some of the bolts. Uh, there were some are rusty. So, good thing the uh, the new oil pan that I bought from Parts Geek they uh, they they give you a new bolts and then new. Uh, New fill bolt. They give me. Yep, that's new. So I'm gonna get this surface prepped up, and probably take one of the old magnet because the new one is missing one magnet. So I'm gonna take that. Uh, it's still dripping. So while it's still dripping, I'm gonna prep the surface uh, and get the new oil pan uh, installed and then I'm gonna measure the fluid that came out of this truck to include the fluid there and the fluid right here wasn't this dark when it was dripping out but I mean 145,000 miles huh okay so here's the new one made in Germany which should be because it's a ZF engine I mean transmission there's a German transmission but you can see the magnet I'm missing one uh, here's the here's see it's not that bad the oil see I mean it looked bad on the oil pan but 
it's actually pretty good for 145,000 um, I don't tow full time so but you can see the magnet there's a lot of stuff in there It's a stick. Definitely need to be replaced. It's probably still factory. So definitely needs to put the magnet here. So I'm gonna clean this up. Now I have one, two, three spare magnet. But yeah, this ain't bad. It's good transmission. Okay, so cleaned it up. All I you have to do is pop this up and slide the magnet out. But yeah, definitely, definitely, this magnets needs to be cleaned because if you're just inspecting fluid level, I mean you gotta check the fluid uh, clarity too. So, but like they say. That this ZF transmission fluid does not require, you know, service or transmission fluid change or filter change. But on the other forum for the ZF transmission itself, it tells you how many miles to replace the uh, the filter. So there you go. I got all magnets here and I'll be torquing this uh, with the sequence according to the sequence here so it'll be one two yep take a picture of that and then where's my fastener oil oil pan bolt even though it says oil pan bolt but this is a transmission specification so it will be 10 newton meters with proper sequence so that way the gasket lays pretty flat all right I got the uh, new pen in um, you have to start this hand tight you know uh, I use this like a screwdriver so hand tight, you know, till all the bolts lined up, because you shouldn't be struggling trying to put this bolt in. It should be easy. When, uh, also, you notice there's no sticker here, like the OEM. You know how to feel temperature or whatever. So I'm gonna double check the torque on this one. Make sure it is torque. Um, brand new uh, it came with this so gotta double check and here's the fill plug so I'm gonna measure how much fluid I have here and start pumping fluid okay so I don't have my measuring bucket that I bought from Home Depot can't find it in the garage uh, however I have this uh, fluid pump that I use for the Murano uh, changing the CVT fluid so I'm just gonna use that one uh, I'm just gonna pour this is the fluid I'll be using I'm just gonna pour uh, the fluid in here how many quarts and I'm just gonna start putting this here uh, since I use the Murano fluid in here. I did try to drain it, but I'm gonna have to 
pump some of the fluid out so that way uh, it's purged from the old fluid so that's what I'll be doing and I'm gonna use this pump to fill up the transmission this is what it looks like it looks exactly the same as the Murano CVT like greenish So I'll just put a little bit on here, squish it around, and perch my line. Okay, here's what I got. Four quarts and a squirt. So I got four quart in there. So I might put half a quart. Well, actually, yeah, half a quart. And then I'm going to pump it in there. And then uh, watch the temperature rise. And look at the drain bolt. So, okay, so with this uh, fluid pump, uh, I bought a kit, or I think, I don't remember, I think it came with it. So, basically, here's the, the bolt or the transmission fill plug. I just match it up, just match, put this in a hole, and then this one slips in there. And then you tight this up so I'm gonna fill it that way and then uh, close the plug um, unpressurize the system so if the system or if the transmission is overfilled I'm just gonna open this valve and it should trickle back down so I guess kind of keep it clean so um, yep, that's what I'll be doing. Okay, scratch that idea. Uh, the DPF is on the way. So, I'm just going to use this normal hook. Okay, I ended up using this flexible hose adapter. Way better. Uh, I had to put my pump right here inside the, the fender well. So I could... Uh, use the, the pump uh, it's slowly pushing so I'll just wait till uh, till I put uh, four quarts okay so here's the next step uh, feel free to take a picture because I'm not going to be videotaping this That's it. All right, pretty much done. Did the procedure, the check, everything went well. Um, just FYI, if you are missing a magnet on this side, so uh, good luck because uh, putting one on or taking it off, uh, the bracket broke. So uh, this one did not, uh, I don't know. So, and you do need, just to be on the safe side, you need six quarts. So, I still have some left over here. Well, it's not much. Not much left over, but six quarts. That's to be safe. Other than that, I guess... Uh, this transmission is uh, good to go for another 150,000 miles till I change it again. <laughs>